In this problem, we're told a window washer pulls herself up using the bucket pulley apparatus shown in this figure. How hard must she pull downward to raise herself slowly at a constant speed? B, if she increases this force by 15%, what will her acceleration be? The mass of the person plus the bucket is 72 kilograms. So this is going to be our image. And so the first thing that you want to do whenever you solve a problem like this is draw a free body diagram so we know what's going on exactly. So we're going to do it based off the bucket, right? So the person inside the bucket. So this right here is going to be our bucket. And imagine we've got our person in it. So what are the different... Uh, forces acting on this person. So the obvious force is mass times gravity. So the weight force, right? So gravity is pulling them down to earth. But what other what other forces do we have? So if you look at the image here, when they pull down on this, I want you to imagine like if you're like in the gym or like uh, you like pull up on a rope and pull yourself up. So there's going to be a force, right? The person's going to be going upwards, right? And I'm going to call this F sub P. Right? So the force of them like pulling themselves up. And so they're going to get the force from that. But notice how the apparatus is set up. So if they pull down on this right here, it's going to cause them to go upwards. So the more they pull down on this rope, it's going to make them go upwards. So there's also the force of this thing pulling the bucket in them up. So in reality, right, there's going to be another F of P, right? So this pulling them up here. And these forces are going to be the exact same. So that's what you have to realize. So we've got one force from them pulling themselves up. And the other one is from the rope and the apparatus pulling the bucket up from under her. So this is going to be uh, the diagram. And so what we want to say is that the sum of all the forces is equal to, and let's add up all our forces. So we have our F plus P or F of P and then F sub P, right? And then what we do is we add them up. If they're, if they're going upwards, they're positive. If they're downwards, it's negative. So minus M times G because this force is going downwards. So that's that. And then what we can say is, uh, some of all the forces is the same thing as mass times acceleration, but keep in mind acceleration in this case is zero because uh, they're not moving. So acceleration is zero. So we just say zero equals, and then it's just F P plus F sub P minus M G. And so we know that F sub P and F sub P are the exact same, right? Because pulling down is going to do the same amount going up. So it's just two F sub P minus M G. And so what we can do is solve for this force, right? So how hard essentially is what we're going to be solving for, right? Because we know F sub P is the how hard she's pulling essentially, right? Because when she pulls, it's going to make her go the same upwards. So if we solve for F sub P, that's going to be what A is. So that's what we're going to want to solve for. So if we say 0 equals 2 F sub P and then plug this in. M, we know the mass of her in the bucket is 72. And gravity is just 9.8. So minus 72 or what we can do is just move this so minus 2fp i'm just minusing it from both sides equals negative uh, 72 times my times 9.8 these minuses are going to cancel and so if you divide both sides by 2 2 right so this is all gone then this minus went away because of this minus so f of p if you go ahead and do this you're going to get 352.8 and so and this is going to be in newtons, right? Newtons. So 352.8, this will be your answer to A. So how hard must she pull down? She's going to have to pull at 352.8 newtons uh, to raise herself slowly at a constant speed. So that's that. Let's move on to B, though. So B is going to be, if she raises this force by 15%, what, were, what will her acceleration be? So this is the force, right? And so what we want to do is raise it by 15%. So... If we take this force, right, raise it by 15%, multiply it by 1.15, that's going to raise it 15%. It's going to become 405.72. So essentially what we're going to do is plug this back in to uh, this, uh, this equation here. We're going to plug it in for F sub P. And then what we're going to do is solve for the total force. And if we can solve for the total force, we can solve for the acceleration. Because we know force equals mass times acceleration, if we get the total force, which is what we're going to solve for, and then we divide by the mass, you'll get, you can solve for acceleration, which is what they're asking. So that's what we're going to do. So just plug it in for this. Uh, you'll get the total sum of the forces equals 2, right? 2 times F sub P, which now is 405.72. And then it's going to be minus 72 times 9.8, right? Mg, that's this force. So we're just adding up all the forces essentially. 
if you go ahead and do this, uh, you're going to get that F or the total sum of the forces equals 105.84. So this is going to be 105.84. That's going to be the total force now. And so what we're going to do is use the equation force equals mass times the acceleration, like I said before, and we're going to solve. So all we have to do is plug it in and we can solve for the acceleration. So 105.84 equals the mass, which we know is 72, right? Uh, times A. So divide both sides by 72. You'll get the new acceleration, right? Her acceleration is going to be, or if you do 105.84 divided by 72, you're going to get 1.47. And then keep in mind our units, if you're using newtons and uh, kilograms, it's going to be meters per second squared. So 1.47 meters per second squared. This right here is going to be your answer to B. And so yeah, hopefully you found this video useful.